Hello everyone, Jaw Tooth here again. And today I'm at High Bridge, Kentucky, the highest railroad bridge in the eastern United States over a navigable waterway. Guess what, son? We got a train coming right now. Been picking up on my scanner, and the train device has been chirping. So I just now ran over here for my car. Here it comes. how little that thing looks. It's huge. Looks like a Z scale. That chirp is the end of train device. That's how you know when a train's coming. Look how big that trestle is, son. That's huge. There you go. Finally got a train through here. Been here for probably close to two hours. And um, I was starting to wonder why the line wasn't very busy, because this is a busy line right here. There's probably close to 20 trains a day on this line. Cincinnati owns this line. It's a rat hole, Norfolk Southern rat hole. They lease it from Cincinnati. Runs from Cincinnati to Chattanooga. That is a gigantic bridge right there. All right, thanks for watching. Oh, but wait, there's more. There always is. All right, here's the huge trestle. We're gonna walk underneath of it and we're gonna look up towards the two tracks. Let's go all the way around. Now we're back down to the road again. See there, we just went all the way around, upside down. Now let's go back. Now I have filmed trains going over this bridge with me standing under it right here, looking up. Kind of interesting. Okay, now, imagine you are looking straight down. You're up on top of a trestle looking straight down. Does that give you any vertigo? That's pretty cool looking. Really just looking horizontal here. And the Kentucky River is right down there. Kind of hard to see. Just have a look over here. There's your river. This side of the trestle. Hey, 
and there's a sign over here that you can read at your leisure. Click on it and read it at your leisure. Ah, oh, but wait, there's more. Of course, always is. Here comes the train. There you go folks it's really hard to film trains here let me tell you you can't find a good spot to, to film them you got that one overlook and that's about it um i tried to climb up this way but it's not a very good angle so there you go at least we got two trains over here it's kind of a short one but listen to that sounds great thanks for watching still got chessy norphy and the slideshow Ah, but wait, there's more. Of course, what was this? Check out this caboose over here. I was just looking at this caboose. It was built in 1980. It was actually built for the Chessie system, though. So this thing never even ran on this line over here. They painted it in Norfolk Southern colors. You can also see in the window. Let's look inside here and see what it looks like. This caboose was donated by a private owner, and it came from Moorhead, Kentucky, which is interesting. Because I went to college in Moorhead from 1979 to 1983. And I saw a lot of cabooses go through Moorhead. And I do remember they, they had one stored over in Clearfield next to Moorhead. That's the inside of the caboose right there. So I'm going to have to do some research on this caboose. See what we can find out on it. There is a small sign on the side with a little bit of information. Right over here. So click on that and read it at your leisure. And I remember in 1985, I used to live right next to the Chessie system in Loveland, Ohio. And I remember when they stopped using the cabooses. So this caboose probably went by my house. It never rolled on this line through High Bridge. Interesting. Ah, oh, but wait, there's more. Of course, so is this. We are just a few miles from High Bridge right now. We're near Nicholasville, Kentucky. And this is the R.J. Corman Ranch right here. It's right next to this overpass, the railroad overpass. That's an active railroad overpass. These tracks do not connect onto that. The tracks start over here to the left. There's two tracks right there. You got a switch with a small siding. You got these locomotives here. Nice looking bay window caboose. A couple more locomotives with a siding right there. And then the main for this track, as you can tell, goes to the right, goes up near the highway, winds around up that way, maybe a half a mile or so, and then dead ends. This is really cool. Just a few miles from High Bridge. I remember first coming here maybe 20 years ago and seeing this. It's a display. I don't know if they ever do fire these engines up, but this is really cool. Leave a comment below what you think of this. All this near High Bridge, Kentucky, the headquarters of R.J. Corman. Really beautiful property out here. There you go.
this is a huge place. This is really cool, folks. But wait, there's more. Of course, there always is. Was that a baby duck or was that was a frog? <laughs> 